Gaming PC Builds of the Month brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. My name is Corey. We're here with the $1,500, $1,000, $800, and $500 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. And if you've been tuning in, there have been some updates. But the best update of all is that graphics cards prices are going down. This is exciting. It's been like two years of this nonsense of super expensive graphics cards. If you've been trying to build a PC, you know what I'm talking about. And I mean, trying to build a PC in the last a long, long while. Uh, and overall, in the builds that I'm going to show uh, to you very shortly, uh, car, uh, some uh, the card prices on average have dropped just over 20%. So that's huge. So if we go to like articles like this, uh, GPU stock levels are now so good. Today's brutal pricing cannot last. That was published seven days ago. Uh, and it's true. They are going down. Or um, at this tweet here by Hardware Unboxed, GPU prices are falling off a cliff right now. Locally, the Asus GeForce RTX 3080 was 2299 uh, Australian dollars yesterday. And now it's 1499 That's 35% off overnight. Maybe not 35% off every type of graphics card out there, but this is an indicator that things are getting better. So what better time to start planning your gaming PC build of the month? So what we're going to do is we're going to kick it off with a $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for April 2022. Again, this is that higher level build, uh, kind of to get you started. It's kind of, no, I wouldn't personally spend more than this on a gaming PC build uh, as it you will get great performance at all resolutions so uh, and using a great graphics card but there's still room for potential if you have more to spend and you really want to push the limits and so this is kind of that baseline if you want to start from here and then upgrade the heck out of it and personalize it to wh whatever you want it to be but this will get great settings at any game out there at most resolutions at all resolutions sorry uh, all right, so let's start with the CPU. The Intel Core i5-12400, a fantastic gaming CPU and a uh, newer uh, Intel chip as well. Uh, this one comes out at $207.76 at the moment. We've included the stock cooler with this one, which is the Intel Laminar RM1 included with the CPU. If you really do want to make the most out of your CPU, you could also consider getting a um, non-stock cooler uh, or a liquid cooler or another air cooler or whatever it is. We have uh, upgrade alternatives on the site if you visit uh, newcomputerbuild.com, but right now it comes with just the stock cooler. Motherboard is the Gigabyte B660M uh, motherboard for $119.99. A great budget kind of board for uh, the newer Intel uh, CPUs. Graphics card, Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3070 at a cool $837.49 right now. That's crazy. It was over $1,000 like just a month ago. So not quite MSRP, but you're saving tons of cash now <laughs> on the graphics cards at least. Uh, RAM, Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit. Uh, that's two gigabyte six of DDR4 3600 megahertz RAM at $69.99. If you want to upgrade that, also suggestions in the upgrades uh, on the site as well. If you want to check that out. Um, SSD is the Crucial P2 one terabyte NVMe SSD, $96.45. And the power supply is the EVGA Supernova 750 watt power supply, $119.99. And to wrap it all together, we have the Corsair 4000D PC case at $94.99, coming out to just over $1,500 this month at $1,546.66. Uh, mind you, and not mind you, I just to know last month, this build with the exact same performance would have uh, knocked you back about $1,800, over $1,800 easy. So much more affordable than what it was at the start of April here. Let's move on to the $1,000 gaming PC build of the month. This is more of that build that uh, is more standard for everybody out there. It'll still get you high um, FPS at uh, 2K resolution. So it's still a very comparable build. Uh, and so let's kick it off with the CPU. Again, the Intel Core i5-12400, $207.76, included the Intel Laminar RM1 cooler. A motherboard, again, is the Gigabyte B660M uh, DS3H. A motherboard, $119.99. And then graphics card here is really the price differentiator uh, compared to the build above, which is the F. X, <laughs> XFX uh, Radeon RX 6600 XT graphics card 529.99 again much cheaper fantastic Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit of memory 69.99 500 gigabyte um, Crucial P2 NVMe SSD for 55.99 and the power supplies this uh, 650 watt Supernova uh, G5 at 91 dollars and the case is the end. ZXT H510 for $89.99, coming in at $1,164.71. I know it's over $1,000, but this one was almost $1,500 last month, and uh, the prices are continuing to drop. So again, much closer to that $1,000 budget uh, goal for this build, for this performance. 
Uh, next build is the entry level gaming PC build, the $800 gaming PC build. Um, this one's still a fantastic build. You'll get, you can play games at high settings at high FPS, 1080p resolutions would be the recommended kind of settings or presets for this, uh, sort of build. And so getting into it, the CPU is the Intel Core i5 11400 to 17424. Cooler is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black for 4355. The motherboard is the MSI B560MA Pro Series motherboard for 8999. Graphics card, MSI Gaming GeForce GTX 1650-259.99. And then the uh, memory is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit, 3600 megahertz uh, kit of memory for 69.99, 500 gigabyte Crucial P2, 55.99. And then the uh, power supply is the Apivia 600 watt uh, Prestige power supply for 51.99. And then we have this cool <laughs> Zelman S5 RGB medium tower uh, um, for 74.99. And then uh, this build comes in at just over $800, $820.73. Moving on to the final build. This is that uh, entry-level gaming PC build, the $500 gaming PC build for April 2022. The beauty of this build is you do not need a GPU, but you have the option to upgrade to a GPU later in the future as it includes an integrated graphics CPU. So we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G at $209.98 comes with the integ or integrated comes with the included AMD Wraith Stealth cooler um, with it and the motherboard we have is Gigabyte B550 MDS3H motherboard 109.99 included graphics is the integrated rating on RX graphics but you could consider something like a 1650 super uh, for around uh, uh, or for the one above sorry it says 450 here um, we're we're looking at previous prices uh, at 259.99 if you wanted to upgrade that in the future and get uh, much more performance when you have the money to spend perhaps or um yeah or or just get it as it is and you'll be able to still game um all right the ssd kingston 240 gigabyte a400 ssd 34.99 the power supply is the thermaltake smart 500 watt power supply at 34.99 then the case is the fantex eclipse p300a 5979 for one or one thousand five hundred nineteen dollars and 73 cents using the integrated graphics here well that does it for all the builds the uh, the point of all these builds is that it kind of gives you a great baseline to start and it kind of gives you pre-set lists of builds that you can just basically go go with and get the recommended settings or get the settings that it uh, says that uh, they do. Or it also gives you a starting point to kind of go between these budgets if you have a little bit uh, uh, of a different budget than the one set out here. So if you have more than $1,500, there's upgrade suggestions here on the site under the $1,500 build. Or if you go um, have in between 1000 and or 1500 you can kind of mix and match some of the hardware and some of these. But if you have any questions, do leave a comment. Uh, I'll try my best to get back or visit the site and leave a comment there at noobcomputerbuild.com. But until then, best of luck enjoying the cheaper graphics cards and best of luck building your gaming PC.